What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, unfortunately, we had to cancel our honeymoon. Now, I don't know where to begin. There's numerous reasons. There's so many reasons, but I'll just start off with, we booked this honeymoon like more than six months before the wedding because we wanted to just get it out of the way. And in my opinion, I think we should not have done that. Now that I'm looking back at it, we should have maybe waited a little bit. Yeah, he wanted to wait, but I wanted to just get on it because they were having a really good deal for where we were going. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to miss out on a good sale, honestly. I was so patient with booking that. And she was just like, we got to book it, we got to book it, we got to book it. Yeah, because like if you wait till last minute, oh my gosh. I'm happy you admitted it though. Yeah, if we wait, if we wait till last minute to book flights, and like everything like that then it gets pretty hectic with pricing like the prices get higher so whatever i feel like we did get a good deal so i'm not mad at it i guess but so the first reason um is because we felt like because we had like so many people staying in our house like we had isaiah's like whole family staying here and um when they left you know they cleaned up and everything but i just felt like we had to recuperate from the wedding in general like just there's still things like boxes and all this stuff like thrown everywhere um so that's one thing we just feel like if we would have just went straight into our honeymoon even though it was like a week later it, it was just like too hectic that's the first thing and so we were kind of contemplating already on rebooking um and changing the dates and another reason is because i got my menstrual like i knew it was coming bef like that whole week um so it's crazy because i got it like on the 23rd which is when we were supposed to leave and um we were supposed to be back on the 27th so today's the 28th we we're supposed to get back yesterday and i'm still on my menstrual so now i'm going on like a week and a half of being on my menstrual which sucks i was just gonna troop it out you know and go through it but you guys know like i get it really bad and i'm always in pain and it's just like the worst thing to go through when you want to be on your honeymoon like i literally just wanted to enjoy the honeymoon you know hopefully pop out pregnant after the honeymoon obviously you can't do that when you're on your menstrual so that's really annoying it just wouldn't have been a vacation guys if we would have went and she would have been in pain and stuff like that you know there's no fun in that what's the point of going on vacation you know what i mean yeah and i had to pack all this extra stuff like you know stuff for girls i don't want to get too much into it but it's a lot to pack especially yeah. for me so that was one reason um the other reason i guess was just because of like my health so if you guys follow me like on instagram or snapchat more so snapchat um i've been talking about like my health a lot on there and i don't know how or where it came from but like two three days after the wedding i ended up catching like this virus or whatever that's what the doctors are calling it i went to urgent care once i went to the doctor the next day and then i went to the doctor again the following day so it was like three days in a row right mm -hmm. they just keep telling me that it's like a virus and all that but it was like and janice disagrees but i was getting like shortness of breath you gonna disagree with that go ahead keep talking i had shortness <laughs> of breath even the doctor confirmed it's shortness of breath um i was having congestion headaches and my body was like in pain like from head to toe again they said it was a it was a virus thing there was nothing they can really do for it because when it's a virus you just gotta like ride it out there's no like medicine or antibiotic antibiotics for it but then for some reason like my blood pressure ended up being like high now um like three times i went they took my blood pressure and it was you know higher than normal so they were like oh you know we gotta monitor that all that good stuff but I told them, I was like, I don't like doctors. I don't remember the last time I've been to a doctor. So that could be the reason why it's high. And they were like, yeah, it's not uncommon for that to happen. But, you know, just buy yourself a blood monitor, a blood pressure monitor kit or whatever. And just, you know, keep an eye on your blood pressure. And I have been doing that. Janice thinks I'm going crazy with it, which I'm not going to lie. I probably am. He is. He's checking his yeah. blood pressure like every, like, probably like four or five times a day yeah and they told me to do it like twice a day but it's yeah. like then i start getting anxiety and then i check it and then my blood pressure is high like like really high and you know it gets concerning so if this would have all happened while we were on the honeymoon as well it would have just been bad she would have been going through her stuff i would have been going through like my health issues um so it's just like it would have been a very bad time to go on a honeymoon i can say i am starting to feel a little better you know as the days go on um 
My blood pressure is still a little high. However, it's not as high as it was from the very beginning when I started dealing with this, which was like a week ago. So I, st I haven't checked my blood pressure today. That's good. I'm kind of scared too. He's he like, was literally anxious. playing. He was literally playing the game. Like being Madden. raging this morning. So I'm like... I won then, though. Then you wonder why your blood pressure is high because you are getting so amped up over a game. It's... My guys out there, they, they understand. When y'all play Madden, y'all know it gets serious. Anyway, like I said, it would, it's just overall, it would have been a very bad time to go on a honeymoon. Again, we wanted to come back pregnant and all that good stuff, but... Her, or at least try. Yeah, you know. You know, she has her, you know, condition and her, like, you know, issues and whatever. But, um, gonna start trying or whatever. And it, it was just a bad time to go on the honeymoon, just to say the least. So, with your stuff, with my stuff, it just wouldn't have been a good time at all. Yeah, and when he said the shortness of breath stuff, I... I <laughs> Feel like shortness of breath when you're like, <gasps> like that. He was just like. <sighs> so then, why did the doctor at urgent care? I didn't even use the term shortness yeah, of breath. Did. No, I didn't. I used it after he used it because I told him I was like, every now and then I feel like I have to collect myself and go like, <sighs> and like you know get a deep breath in. That's what I said, deep breath. Yeah, but you, when you have first walked in, you did tell him you've been having shortness of breath. I told the tech. Yeah, so the doctor obviously wasn't there. they write it down. All I know is that afterwards, the doctor was like, yeah, so he was like, you know, your shortness of breath or whatever. So I'm like, okay, he confirmed it. He said, your shortness of breath. All right, I have shortness of breath. He was basically like saying, oh, you, I, the doctor wrote down on the paper, probably the tech wrote down on the paper, shortness but when of breath. Said that, so he said, oh, your shortness of breath, meaning like in your head, it's shortness of breath. I feel like doctors said, do that. When he have said, all right, that's not shortness of breath. You know, you're no. just congested. Doctors don't sit there Because my to chest was you. tight. I was having like discomfort and all that as well which was like giving me anxiety and that was like the real reason why I even decided to go to urgent care. It was because the chest discomfort, I really couldn't breathe well and my like heart was like racing and that happened like two or three times. That never happened to me. I don't get anxiety. Yeah, I'm trying to explain to you that that's what anxiety is. It's not like Okay, but why is it happening back to back to like it was like non-stop, non-stop. It was like I literally had to get diagnosed with anxiety. Where did that come from? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's not normal for me. I don't, that's not me. I know. I'm not that person. But I feel like you think it's linked to you being sick. I feel like it is. Because if I'm congested and I really can't breathe, I start panicking because I can't breathe. That's where the anxiety comes in. That's where the chest discomfort and all that comes in. And that's where the blood pressure I feel starts to get high. And it's like, all right, you need to chill and everything will be good. But it's like, I feel everything would chill once I can start breathing normally again. Well, the doctors did say that you're okay, though. So that's the They listened to my thing. lungs. They yeah. They listened to my lungs. They were like, sounds clear. Um, what else did they do? They checked my ears, uh, EKG. nose, throat. Yeah, ears, nose, throat. Ears, nose, and throat. Uh, everything was good except my nose. They saw it was like a little congested on the inside. They did an EK EKG test. I can't talk today. <laughs> Clearly. EKG test for my heart. It came back normal. Everything looked good. Um, I did blood work. Blood work results I have not gotten back yet because you have to wait like a week for that. Um, I think that's, that's what's it. giving him anxiety is that he doesn't know what the blood test is going to be like. But we will definitely update you on that. I'm if... not really worried about that though. Are you not? No, it's just like my congestion. It's really annoying. And it's like I'm not trying to take so many meds because when you take too many meds, it starts to like mess with other things. Like you get side effects and stuff. And I don't want to do that. I don't like taking medicine in general. So, you know, it's it's been rough. It's been like hell for me for like the past week, but I'm, I'm getting better. But yeah, uh, we rescheduled the honeymoon. Do you want to tell them when? Or should we just like pop out? Nah, we should tell them because they're going to be waiting and waiting forever. So unfortunately, they didn't have any dates with what we wanted in the exact days um, until January, which sucks. But it is what it is. I don't mind it. We'll get away from the cold for a little bit. Not really. We don't get cold over here that much. It's It gets pretty Florida. chilly over here. In January is like good weather though. I'm not gonna be like, ew, I like like the cold over here. I'm just saying, I'll be able to get some sun and be in like swimming trunks and stuff like that. Yeah, but I don't know because I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and another thing I know you guys are like, where's the wedding pictures? Where's the wedding video? Yada yada. We told y'all y'all have to wait, y'all gotta be patient. Hopefully everything should be ready by this week. Yeah, I was gonna hopefully, say we should be getting this stuff soon. Yeah, hopefully. Guys, we're just as anxious as y'all are. Like just please be patient when like when y'all see it, y'all will understand why it took a while. But y'all gonna get it. Just be patient. Yeah, but that's all for today's video. We just wanted to update you guys because we didn't want to leave you up in the air we're posting regular content and you're like what's going on with the wedding stuff 
trust me like you guys will get the wedding stuff soon and unfortunately you guys won't get any like um honeymoon content until january yeah but with all that being said we'll see you guys in the next video